What is up, everybody? It's your girl, the real Mrs. J. And don't mind, I sound a little slow just because I just woke up. And um, I was just scrolling on the YouTube streets, saw Kwani that she was talking about uh, a live that Tracy did. And um, let me just say this, y'all. And, uh, this has just been a, a just crazy, but... This play that that Tracy is doing right now is so old and so retro. So what y'all are witnessing now is Tracy trying to prove to Rob that, you know, she's his ride or die. Okay, this mess is like this old way of thinking because she's trying to prove to him that, you know, she's going to be there for him no matter what. And basically, she's doing that because she still thinks that she can fix him. She's still doing the same thing, you guys. She has not been with this man long enough to be professing her love and her life. Just like Kwani said, that's not your husband. And... Nobody in their right mind or, you know, in a sober mind is going to sit here and act like this man really likes you and really is reciprocating the same uh, feelings that you have for him. He's not reciprocating those feelings for you. We've seen it. But you want us to act delusional because you're in a state of delusion. It doesn't work like that. But yes, what she's doing right now is this classic old 90s mentality play of she's trying to be a ride or die chick. Because she thinks that he's going to, when he comes out, he's going to be like, oh, Tracy stayed by my side. And you know, they're going to live happily ever after. Girl, he is just not that into you. He's just not. He disrespected you. He called you all types of names. And he did it in front of thousands of people. Thousands. But anyway, you guys, I I just had to come out here and say that real quick. But anyway, I'm going back up on the porch. I'll holler at y'all later. Peace.